Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. So in this video, we are going to discuss Geeks for Geeks problem of the day. And today's problem is NCR and it is a medium level problem. So basically this problem has given you two integers n and r and we are asked to find the value of NCR modulo 10 to the power 9 plus 7. Right. So the expected space and time complexity of this particular problem is a bit different. We are not going to discuss about that. Instead, we are going to discuss a method which is generally useful in solving problems while you are giving contests. So I am going to tell you the method in which we are going to calculate the modular multiplicative inverse and then we are going to find the value of NCR. Right. So let us quickly start the explanation. Now since we have two values of N and R, a very basic mathematics formula that you have studied about is N factorial upon R factorial into N minus R factorial. Right. So this is the formula that we all know. Now we just need to convert this formula into somewhat code and make the computer understand it. Now there is one exception to this particular case. So that is when n is less than r. So if you want to choose r balls, let's say out of n balls, it is never possible. So, so the answer will always be 0. right? So if n is less than r, then the answer will always be 0. Now in other cases, for example, if n is any value greater than or equals to r, in this particular case, we will have to find our answer using this particular formula. Now the thing is, uh, we are asked to calculate the answer modulo 10 to the power 9 plus 7. Right. So this is what we want. So calculating the factorial is not a very difficult part. We can maintain an array or a vector of let's say size 1001 or this is just some value greater than 1000 because the upper limit on n was up to 1000 right so we can create any array of size greater than 1000 now once we have the values of all factorials our next task is to calculate this particular value that is fact of n upon fact of r into fact of n minus r right so this is not very difficult but the only problem that we have in this particular part is that we have to calculate this whole value modulo something right and we cannot do it directly because this particular value is in the denominator and we don't have any formula for a by b modulo something right so we will have to take the denominator and calculate its mod inverse so it is the modulo multiplicative inverse of the denominator value so basically what you will have to do is you will have to calculate the denom denominator value it is a denominator is equals to fact of r let us say this is r into fact of n minus r and then you will have to calculate its inverse so let us say I am calculating inverse as inverse of denominator and then I can multiply it by the factorial or the numerator n right so once I calculate this then I can take the mod value so this is essentially what I have to do now the next question is how do I actually find the inverse value right so this is my next task now in case the value of mod is prime if the value of mod is prime which is in most of the cases right that is equals to 1 e 9 plus 7 in this particular case but in also other cases it will be a prime integer given to you they already take care of such cases right so if this is prime you can apply this formula to find the modular multiplicative inverse and that is you have to take the number let's say uh, denominator and you have to raise it to the power mod minus 2 right so this is only you have to do if you do this you will be able to find the inverse of the denominator right so this is this was all theory that you need to know and uh, for this last part that i have explained that uh, inverse will be calculated like this there is a mathematical derivation to it but we will not dive into it for now we just know that this works and that is enough for us to find the answer of these questions so let me just show you the code for now so what I have done is I have taken two integers n and r and whenever if n is less than r I just return 0 otherwise what I do is I calculate the value of mod first so this is just some basic setup and I am storing it in a constant integer now I create a vector of factorials right this will be your size 1001 you can take any value which should be greater than the maximum value that you need to know right so in this case it was 1000 so I took 1001 now I just make a simple for loop in which I traverse through the, all the values and I can set factorial of is i into factorial of i minus 1 and then taking its mod right now at the end 
uh, we'll discuss this exponentiation function but at the end what i do is i calculate the denominator value that is factor of n minus r into factor of r and then taking its mod and then calculating the inverse of this particular value that is the inverse of the denominator and that is exponentiation function and it is receiving three arguments that is the denominator raised to the power mod minus 2 and the mod value itself right at the end what i can do is i can calculate my answer as factor of n into inverse taken modulo right so at the end i can return my answer now how do i actually calculate this exponentiation value i believe like this is a simple binary exponentiation function and you'll be able to find it anywhere on the internet so that's it for this video i hope that you guys were able to understand the solution if you guys did then consider dropping a like on this video and don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments it's it really helps the youtube algorithm to understand that this video is actually helpful for you and it will be able to reach more number of people like you who want to keep solving new problems so i see a lot of people who watch these videos have not subscribed yet in case you're one of them then definitely consider subscribing share the channel with your friends until the next video drops keep coding stay safe bye bye